When delving into the intricacies of the universe, there exists a concept often overlooked, quietly molding our reality and influencing everything from particle interactions to celestial motions. This unassuming yet pivotal notion may hold the keys to unraveling the mysteries of time and life. It guides systems towards heightened randomness while maintaining a delicate balance, steering the constant flux of both simple reactions and complex phenomena amidst everyday chaos. Consider this unexpected question, what's the connection between a small cup of hot coffee and the unseen force shaping the universe? Many of us are familiar with the concepts of entropy and the second law of thermodynamics. Unlike other quantities such as mass or energy, entropy appears to be a subjective measure, contingent on the macroscopic variables an observer chooses to define or has access to. All physical phenomena, from the microscopic realm of atoms to the vast expanse of galaxies, adhere to this fundamental principle. The second law of thermodynamics operates as a guiding principle for our universe, akin to the conservation of energy. In ideal scenarios, entropy remains constant, but in real-world processes, it increases, leading systems towards greater disorderliness over time. This understanding provides an explanation for the unidirectional nature of time, known as the arrow of time. As you observe your surroundings, entropy surrounds you, cells degrade, dust accumulates, heat disperses, gardens become overgrown, and ancient structures crumble. Zooming out, businesses falter, societal upheavals occur, and relationships dissolve. On a grander scale, the entire universe moves inexorably towards collapse. The inexorable pull of entropy signifies a relentless trend towards disorder. Decay prevails, and disorder ultimately triumphs. However, before despair sets in, there is hopeful news ahead, you can resist the pull of entropy by solving a scattered puzzle, removing weeds from your garden, or tidying a messy room. However, since the universe naturally trends towards disorder, you must invest energy to establish stability, structure, and simplicity. Successful relationships necessitate care and attention, while well-maintained homes require cleaning and upkeep. Effective teams rely on communication and collaboration. Without continuous effort, things deteriorate. Let's use a deck of cards to illustrate. When neatly ordered, the cards represent low entropy, but repeated shuffling results in disorganization, indicating high entropy. This change signifies the passage of time, as no matter how much you shuffle, the cards won't return to their original order. This concept applies broadly across the universe, including to organized entities like stars, planets, and life. Entropy represents not just disorder, but the number of possible arrangements without altering appearance or energy. In essence, increased entropy denotes a shift from less probable to more probable arrangements. Ideally, a system's energy should be evenly distributed, achieving equilibrium with its surroundings. This raises a perplexing question. Why doesn't the entire universe already possess maximum entropy? To address this, we examine the universe's initial conditions. It's presumed that during the Big Bang, the universe began with very low entropy. While the past hypothesis doesn't fully explain this low entropy state, it suggests that the universe had to commence in this manner for evolution to occur. The connection between the arrow of time and the second law of thermodynamics elucidates why time progresses only forward. Since the universe originated with low entropy, and systems tend to move towards higher entropy, all physical processes unfold from the past to the future. This perspective elucidates why we observe order in a universe predisposed to disorder. Living on Earth is pivotal in this context. Earth isn't an isolated system, it receives concentrated low entropy energy from the sun. This energy reduces local entropy, facilitating life to flourish. Life processes such as growth and movement generate order, yet they also adhere to the second law of thermodynamics by increasing overall entropy through energy dispersal. Far from contradicting entropy, life embodies it. In fact, life is viewed as a direct consequence of this law, propelling the universe towards maximum entropy. Understanding entropy has evolved over time. Rudolf Clausius introduced entropy in the 1850s to describe energy loss in irreversible processes, proving useful in predicting spontaneous system evolution, like chemical reactions and phase transitions. 
Initially, understanding entropy was akin to grappling with a vague mathematical concept. However, in 1877, Boltzmann laid the groundwork for statistical thermodynamics, offering a concise definition of entropy. Boltzmann's entropy quantifies the myriad microscopic arrangements or microstates a system can assume while adhering to observed macroscopic conditions like temperature, pressure, and energy. When the number of possible microstates is high, our knowledge of the system's true configuration diminishes. For instance, black holes in our universe exhibit high entropy because we can only define their characteristics by mass, charge, and spin, leaving countless possible arrangements of matter within them indeterminate. The common perception of entropy is that it reflects disorder, rooted in the idea that messy systems can have more possible arrangements than organized ones, leading to higher entropy. However, this notion of order is subjective giving rise to counterintuitive examples that challenge entropy as disorder. For instance, we typically view a crystal structure as more ordered than its fluid counterpart. Surprisingly, there are scenarios where the crystal form exhibits higher entropy than the fluid phase under the same conditions, contradicting our usual intuition. In systems dominated by gravity, like densely packed crystalline phases, uniformly distributed matter is actually unstable. The most probable states with high entropy involve matter, clumped together in massive objects, challenging the notion that disorder always corresponds to high entropy. A commonly stated version of the second law of thermodynamics is that the entropy of a closed system can only increase. However, this is not a precise representation. A more accurate statement would be that when a thermally isolated system transitions from one thermodynamic equilibrium state A to another B, the increase in its thermodynamic entropy, S, is greater than or equal to zero. Entropy lacks a well-defined meaning outside of thermodynamic equilibrium, an area still debated among researchers. However, in specific systems where we can continuously monitor a set of macroscopic variables over time, non-equilibrium entropy can be defined. In this context, entropy is based on the number of possible microscopic arrangements compatible with these macro variables. The second law naturally arises from probabilistic reasoning, as observed in the H-theorem. Grasping entropy involves contemplating the vastness of the universe and observing its story unfold over billions of years. An intriguing paradox arises when we consider the structured nature of the universe alongside the law of increasing entropy. Is entropy truly linked to disorder, and if so, how did the universe, with its stars, galaxies, and clusters, manage to persist and evolve in an organized manner? An understanding of gravity, a force that tends to aggregate matter, is crucial. The universe evolved because of gravity, creating ordered regions within the expanding chaos. Stars, galaxies, and eventually life emerged in these ordered regions, contrasting with the dominant entropy. However, a question arises. If gravity promotes order by bringing matter together, why isn't the entire universe one massive mass with high entropy? To answer this, we must revisit the moments following the Big Bang. The early universe was uniform, vastly different from its current state. This early plasma was hot, dense, and evenly spread, lacking the gravitational clumping observed in today's stars and galaxies. With no stars or galaxies, the universe was vast and homogeneous, exhibiting exceptionally low entropy. The past hypothesis suggests that entropy was at its lowest right after the Big Bang, and since then, it has been on the rise. Understanding gravity in this early universe with low entropy is crucial. Gravity played a key role in distributing matter uniformly after the Big Bang, a state of low entropy. The formation of celestial bodies like stars and galaxies became possible through gravity, converting potential energy into kinetic energy and then into heat, thereby increasing entropy. Black holes, powerful gravitational entities, significantly contribute to entropy. Jacob Bekenstein and Stephen Hawking proposed that black holes contain immense entropy, adding to the overall entropy of the universe. The second law of thermodynamics is vital for the universe's existence and development, from the Big Bang to the creation of galaxies, planets, and life. Although the universe started with low entropy, it has since moved towards higher entropy, with gravity playing a crucial role in this progression. 
Understanding the intricate interplay between entropy, gravity, and the universe helps us better comprehend our cosmic origins and speculate about the ultimate fate of the universe. Entropy, like time, is woven into our existence. The arrow of time describes how time consistently moves forward, in line with the second law of thermodynamics, which dictates that entropy follows a one-way trend, either increasing or staying constant, but never decreasing. Drawing from these parallel observations, scientists have suggested a potential link between entropy and the forward progression of time. The hypothesis is that the continuous growth of entropy over time imparts the unidirectional motion to time itself. This aligns with the second law, as moving backward in time would violate it. Since the past must have had a lower entropy state than the future, given that entropy increases in the forward flow of time, time is asymmetrical and intricately related to entropy. Time and entropy are related beyond just their direction of movement. Entropy's change rate affects time itself. For example, consider the cooling cup of coffee mentioned earlier. The coffee's cooling rate, corresponding to an increase in entropy, varies over time. Initially, the coffee cools quickly when hot compared to its surroundings, but as it nears room temperature, the cooling rate slows. This variation in entropy affects our perception of time, with time seeming to pass more quickly when the coffee is hot and slower when it's cold. Studying the connection between entropy and time allows us to unravel the universe's evolution. According to the Big Bang theory, the universe originated from a highly organized and low entropy state. Some interpret this as the universe's entropy continuously increasing over time, shaping its present state. This idea, known as the past hypothesis, provides a conceptual framework explaining the directional nature of time, aligning with our everyday experiences and natural processes. However, it remains an assumption about the early condition of the universe, and why the early universe had such low entropy remains a significant unsolved question in cosmology. Similarly, understanding the increase in entropy allows us to speculate about the future. The inevitable rise in entropy leads to the unsettling prospect of heat death, where the universe reaches maximum entropy, and its energy is evenly spread throughout. In this scenario, no more work can be done, ultimately bringing an end to time as we currently understand it. However, it's essential to note that these conclusions are speculative, and scientific communities continue to debate subjects like the ongoing expansion of the universe and the absence of other influential factors, which are based on assumptions. The idea of entropy, which connects the physical processes inside our universe to the one-way and irreversible progression of time, plays a significant role in our exploration of time. Exploring this connection improves our understanding of the laws governing our universe. The connection between chaos and entropy is grounded in the behavior of dynamic systems, particularly within thermodynamics and chaos theory. While originating from different fields, entropy from thermodynamics and chaos from mathematics and physics share correlations, especially in understanding how systems evolve over time. Chaotic systems, known for their sensitivity to initial conditions, exhibit unpredictable and seemingly random behavior, contributing to increased entropy. Trajectories in phase space, representing all possible system states, explore a larger volume, leading to a rise in disorder and randomness, aligning with the thermodynamic concept of entropy. The irreversibility seen in chaotic systems, arising from their sensitivity to initial conditions, reflects the thermodynamic arrow of time, where entropy typically rises over time, signaling a shift towards increased disorder. The relationship between chaos and entropy stems from the complex dynamics of dynamic systems, where initial conditions sensitivity leads to unpredictable trajectories, contributing to disorder and randomness. This underscores the intertwined nature of chaos and entropy in the development of dynamic systems across various scientific fields, from DNA to elementary particles. The world exhibits a discrete nature, making digital representation more feasible than analog. Physicist John Wheeler's journey from a particle-centric perspective to one emphasizing fields and ultimately information signifies a progression towards viewing the universe as fundamentally informational. Edward Fredkin perceives the universe as a vast computer, highlighting information as its essential building block. Information, quantified in bits, serves as a fundamental unit describing system uncertainty, 
reflecting the extent of our knowledge gaps about a particular system, ranging from particle properties to black hole characteristics. Claude Shannon's work on quantifying information quantity serves as a cornerstone of information theory, linking energy, entropy, and information. Shannon's insight enables us to link entropy with information, suggesting that the universe moves towards states with higher information content. What may seem disorderly to us is actually unexplored information, showcasing the evolving nature of our comprehension of the universe. Most businesses confront a significant risk of failure, particularly within their initial 18 months, and an analogy to entropy helps elucidate this phenomenon. Entropy, a probabilistic concept, implies that there are significantly more disordered possibilities for every ordered state. Similarly, businesses tend to drift towards disorder and less external energy is infused, akin to how energy disperses into less useful states. Achieving and sustaining an ordered state in business, like rearranging molecules, necessitates a continuous input of external energy. The challenge lies in the multitude of potential outcomes compared to the limited avenues for meaningful progress. While not a flawless analogy, it underscores the imperative of ongoing efforts to organize and manage resources for progress to ensue. Self-organization can alleviate this necessity, especially when coupled with a clear goal, a competent team, and appropriate incentives. Entropy manifests in various aspects of business operations, from employees forgetting training to equipment malfunctions and product obsolescence. Successful businesses invest time and resources into minimizing entropy through consistent training and maintenance. Effective reporting, inspections, detailed records, and monitoring are essential for businesses to avoid chaos and potential bankruptcy. Unlike thermodynamic systems, businesses have the capacity to counteract the impact of entropy. Striking a balance between creativity and control is vital, excessive control may lead to employee disengagement, while insufficient control can result in poor decision-making. Finding the right equilibrium is crucial in addressing the challenge of entropy and ensuring a business's longevity and success. Life on Earth is profoundly influenced by the intricate dance of entropy. The Sun, our life-giving celestial companion, plays a central role in this dance. Contrary to common belief, Earth is not an isolated system but is intricately connected to the broader universe. Sunlight continuously penetrating Earth's atmosphere alters the dynamics of entropy. The sun's energy, arriving as concentrated packets of order, holds the potential for life. This low entropy energy is harnessed by plants through photosynthesis to produce sugars, which fuel their growth and development. Animals, in turn, utilize this captured energy to sustain their bodily functions and enable movement. At each stage of this process, entropy plays a crucial role. The sun's orchestration of the dance of Entropy is essential for the vitality and functioning of life on Earth. As energy disperses more widely, contributing to an increase in entropy, life on Earth adeptly increases entropy through processes like consuming food and respiring. Organisms transform concentrated and useful energy into dispersed and less useful forms, thus augmenting entropy. Solar power, as a continuous source of concentrated energy, incentivizes the development of structures that efficiently disperse it, potentially leading to the creation of more effective energy dissipators in the future. The sun's maintenance of a low entropy level is essential for life on Earth. Since the Big Bang, the universe has transitioned from a state of low entropy to its current high entropy condition, giving rise to stars, planets, and life. Understanding the sun's contribution to low entropy and the universe's evolution aids in comprehending our existence and cosmic development. Entropy permeates through the universe's history, beginning with the Big Bang and shaping its destiny. It serves as a guiding force influencing time by steadily increasing. This trend is expected to culminate in a phenomenon known as heat death, where the universe reaches maximum disorder. At this stage, energy becomes evenly distributed and significant events become improbable. One projected scenario suggests that in the distant future, all usable energy will disperse, and even black holes holding most of the universe's entropy will release their mass energy through Hawking radiation, marking the end of time. When entropy reaches its maximum, the past and present become indistinguishable, 
regardless of the direction in which time travels. The macroscopic universe remains the same, as eliminating entropy increases would essentially nullify the arrow of time. According to the second law of thermodynamics, the universe tends towards its most probable state, which leads to heat death. Interestingly, the same entropy responsible for the heat death of the universe also contributes to the world's beauty and complexity. When milk is poured into tea, intricate patterns emerge between low and high entropy states, prevailing in the middle of the entropy spectrum. It is the increasing entropy of our universe that allows stars, planets, galaxies, and even life to thrive within this narrow range of complexity. Entropy is thus responsible for the existence of these phenomena. The significance of entropy becomes increasingly apparent as we conclude, impacting not only our daily lives, but also the very essence of the universe and our place within it. An equilibrium embodied by entropy is paradoxical. While it opposes decay and deterioration, it also fosters the emergence of intricate complexity observed in our world. An unmixed cup of tea or a completely blended cup of tea represents simplicity and is unremarkable in both extremely low and high entropy states. Between these two extremes, however, complexity and beauty flourish when the tea is stirred and the milk forms captivating patterns. Comparing the universe to a metaphor is fitting. Understanding entropy helps us make sense of everyday occurrences, from cooling coffee to melting ice. Beyond that, it addresses profound questions about life and the universe's origins, guiding us in predicting their ultimate fates. Studying entropy satisfies our innate curiosity about our existence and our place in the vastness of the universe. There are many inspiring things in the universe, even if they are fleeting. Continually exploring the secrets of the cosmos means that we must fully appreciate this middle realm of complexity made possible by entropy. We can marvel at the wonders of our existence, the splendor of our universe, and the intricate interplay between order and disorder that is entropy. We are better able to understand the cosmos when we understand entropy. Entropy will always increase on its own, the only way to restore order is to add energy. Order requires effort. The pervasive occurrence of Murphy's Law in life, where things seem to go wrong more often than not, finds its explanation in entropy. Life's challenges aren't due to cosmic misalignment or external conspiracies, but are a consequence of entropy, the natural inclination towards disorder. It's a probabilistic law, there are more disordered states than ordered ones. The remarkable aspect is not that life has problems, but that we can overcome them. The quote only the people sufficiently far out in the field get anything done emphasizes that meaningful achievements require individuals who are willing to venture beyond the status quo expending the necessary energy to create order amid the inherent chaos of entropy. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more videos.